custom audiences. Now there are two options that you can select. Number one is that you can actually choose an audience that you've already created. Or number two, you can build it. And I'm going to assume that you haven't yet built one yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a custom audience. So the way to do that is to go to your adverts manager, go to all tools, and then go to audiences. And here are all of the custom audiences that I've built for my ads. So it says what the audience is called, what the type is, how many people are in it, if it's already been approved by Facebook and what date it was created. So how do you create an audience? You do that by going to create audience. Now there are three options. One is a custom audience, which is what we're just talking about. There's a lookalike audience. And then three is a saved audience. So let's look at custom audiences. Let's select that as the option. And we've got a few options here. You can create an audience out of a customer list that you've already got, like for instance, an email list that you may have generated. Do you want to build a custom audience out of website traffic? Do you want to create a custom audience out of people who have downloaded or interacted with your apps? And then lastly, and this is brand new, these are people who have viewed or engaged with any of your videos or content on your Facebook page. So if we click this here, you can select which type of content they interacted with, whether that be video or a lead advert or a canvas. So we'll go to video and you can select people who have viewed, let's say three seconds, people who have viewed 10 seconds or people who have viewed at least 25% of your video. You can decide. There have been a lot of people that have come to my page, seen like 10, three to 10 seconds of a video and then went away. And these may be people that I want to capture again. So it's good that Facebook gives you this option that you can actually target your ads to people who have interacted with your page before. This is brilliant because when you have such a wide reach of your videos and these people haven't gone on to like your page, then this is still a way in which you can target and market to these people. And Facebook keep that information to benefit you in that way. And that's fantastic. So I could select people who have viewed at least 10 seconds of my video and then choose the video that they have seen. You've got to select the page first. So I'm going to select Supo Man here. And I did a video the other day called Population Count and it had 32,000 people see it. So I'm going to put Population Count. Select this one here by clicking the tick and then confirm. So this only happened three days ago. So I'm going to put it in the past... I'm going to put the past three days and then I'm going to give this audience a name. So 10 second viewers and then create audience. And then that will create an audience for me in the background. So now that we've looked at custom audiences, which you can build basically from either customer files, traffic data, which you have done from installing a website pixel on your website or people who have engaged with your content already. Now let's look at lookalike audiences. So a lookalike audience is Facebook finding people with the same characteristics as an audience that has done something with your page. So for instance, here I've created lookalike audiences for people who have liked my Superman page. And what Facebook does is they take that data and they find it per country. So let's create a lookalike audience. So we're going to select my Superman page. And what it's found is that most of the people that like my page are from Bangladesh for some reason. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to the United States. And what it's going to find is it's going to find people on Facebook who are similar to my most valuable audience. So it's going to find me the same kind of people that have liked my page already, but they're going to find these people from the US. So same characteristics as people from Bangladesh, let's say, and they're going to look for the same kind of people in the US. And then you can dictate what percentage of the country you want to include in this lookalike audience. Now, smaller audiences always work best. So I normally go for 1%, but you can select whatever you want, whatever the potential reach you want is, 
and then you can always target that audience down the line. So I've already done a US audience that's 2%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Great Britain. And I'm going to do 2% of that and then create audience. And then it says here, not ready. It's updating the audience, but it literally takes about 30 seconds. And it will basically find me people who look just like my current audience. So I've refreshed it and it's ready, just like that. And similar to this one. Now the 10 second viewers, it said that I didn't have enough people for, but actually they found out there's 11,000 people. So Facebook have finally got their act in gear and they've actually found those people. So there we are, there's my custom audience. So you can see here that you can create really good audiences. If you haven't got website traffic, if you haven't got a mailing list, you can still create a really good audience that you can target your ads to that look very similar to people who have been successful audiences in the past.